Greetings everybody, Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I am on Gab. I will. I started a, a V group, you know, for the, uh, the V, yeah. And... Um, I'm on there, and uh, if you want, I got a link to it on the community page. Uh, you can go there and check it out. I'm going to be posting news stories and what have you. And um, this is going to be the, um, the um, memory verses. Now, these memory verses... What they're going to do is be very, very helpful to, uh, in case whether we're called to give our lives for Christ or if we're in the wilderness with other people. And I suspect there's going to be good, decent people that have been brainwashed by the corporate demon nominational church and you know what can you do so what i'm going to do is give you things to refute it with and uh we'll see how that works so uh let's see the first one we're going to do is uh first john chapter 2 verse 22 this explains what an antichrist is. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ, he is antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. Well, what this is good is... Uh, it explains, well, you know, what the definition of an antichrist is. And call your, have them, you know, call their local uh, sin of Gog. Say that word real fast. And uh, ask if Jesus is the Christ. And if when they say, no, absolutely not, well, uh, you'll know that, uh, yeah. They're antichrists. And how can an antichrist be God's chosen people? I can't figure that one out. So who are God's chosen people? Well, Galatians 3.29. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now, Abraham had Isaac and Jacob, and Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So Abraham was the grandfather of Israel. It says, then are ye. Uh, some Bible versions say, and ye are, you are. You are Abraham's seed, not spiritual seed, not becomes, but that you are Abraham's seed. There is no spiritual seed. No. So... Absolutely not. All right, so what's next on the list here? 1 Corinthians 15. This destroys the pre-trib rapture. 1 Corinthians 15, 51. Behold, I will show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Now, that's talking about sleep being dead and changed as in the resurrection. Verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. Now remember, there's seven trumps in Reve Revelation. The seventh one's at the end of the tribulation. Not before. There's not a pre-trib rapture trump. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So, you know, here it is, people. It tells you right there. Boom. There's no pre-trib. There's no last trump prior to the tribulation. It just, it doesn't happen. 
All right, what's next on the list? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. And uh, this shows you that God deceives those who dishonor him. It says, for the, And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Not Satan, God will send them a strong delusion. That they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. God deceives people. People. He will deceive you if uh, you want unrighteousness and living in unrighteous living. So, all right, and this one's for evangelist type people. How hard is it to be saved? Well, and they say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Now, obviously, there's a little bit more to this than that. You know, Jesus said you had to be born again, born of, the, of above, born of the Spirit. Um, you know, but the thief on the cross, you think about it, all he did was believe. He had no good works. And the Lord said, today you'll be with me in paradise. So that's pretty good. But still, we should do, you know, good works. That's proof that, um, you know, we're of the in, grafted into the tree, right? So, you know, even the devil believes in God, you know, so. All right, what's next on the list? Ah, Amos, chapter 3. Amos is a great book. It says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And who's, who's this talking to and for? The Lord is talking to Israel. You only have I known. Lord doesn't know the Canaanites. Uh, 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 no. Lord does not know the Canaanites. Absolutely not. They are not his sheep. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. And they, they hear my voice. And they know me. And they follow me. You know? So, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities, your sins. What's next? Matthew 24. Boy, I've read that chapter a couple times. Verse 13. But he, or she, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. See, we got to endure. You know, you just can't... Uh, walk away when things get rough and then think, well, you know, eternal security, once saved, always saved. I can take the mark of the beast. I can deny the Lord. I can commit the unpardonable sin by blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And the Lord has to let me in no matter what. Eh, don't work like that, buddy. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And oh, by the way, everybody, all those verses that I'm uh, reading are going to be in a comment, and all you got to do is just copy and paste them. Copy and paste. All right, what's next? Jeremiah 3 8. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, spiritual adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. God divorced Israel. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. Boy, they don't want to hear, oh, God divorced Israel? But, you know, and then they want you to think Judah and Israel is the same thing. Uh, no, God divorced Israel. God did not divorce Judah. Two different deals here. You know? So, uh, yeah. So what's next? Jeremiah 31, 31, the companion verse to this. 
Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant, not a renewed covenant like the Hebrew Roots people say. Oh yeah, we got to keep those Ten Commandments. That's how you get saved. I mean, that's Judaism, basically. You know, it's not a renewed covenant. No, it's a new covenant. You know? Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Not the same. Not the same. How about... Matthew 15, 24. But he, it's Jesus speaking now, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Compare this to Jeremiah 3, 8, Jeremiah 31, 31, Matthew 15, 24, perfect companion verse. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of Israel the house of Israel. Jesus didn't come for the Canaanites. He didn't do that. You know, your modern church world will take the enemies of the Lord and offer them salvation. What did Jesus say about casting your pearls before swine? Oh, but that's, that's bad, Chaplain Bob. You know, we're supposed to love everybody. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, what's next on the list here? Um, Revelation 3.9. I'm going to mince some words here. Be will hold, I will make them of the sin of Gog, of Satan, which say they are who... And are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and to worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Uh, that's what you call censored. I mean, censored, censored. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting to the point where uh, you can't even quote the New Testament because it's uh, considered hate. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Bible's hate for those that love their sin and hate the Lord. All right, so what's next? Uh, Romans 9, 13. And this is a quote from Malachi. Malachi 1. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. But Chaplain Bob, God loves everybody. Well, you got a different God. You got a different Bible. What can I tell you? And I got a study on what uh, why God hates Esau. And it wasn't because he sold his birthright for a bowl of beans. That was a part of it. But there was something more to it. He threw his seed line away when he married the Hittite. You know, the Hittites, they were... Uh, Fallen angel, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, all right, what's next, Chaplain Bob? Ah, Matthew 22, verse 36. A lawyer asked Jesus this question. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Oh, yeah. And hopefully you've got enough sense not to live next door to Satanists, you know? I hope you got enough sense to do that, so. All right, uh, let's see, what's next? Matthew 10. 
32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, are you a Christian? Yes, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. And you know, there's people that'll tell you, oh no, that's not true. Because once you say your little 30-second sinner's prayer that Billy Goat Graham wanted you to say, you're safe forever. No matter what you do, ah, you're going to heaven. Uh, I don't think so. If what Jesus is saying is true, I mean, you know, really? I think I'll believe Jesus over Billy Goat Graham. All right, let's uh, close this up. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, second coming, shall not prevent them which are asleep. Dead, right? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Wait a minute, I thought that was the secret pre-trib rapture. Yeah, every pre-trib secret rapture happens with a shout. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, the seventh trump. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. People, if you're not caught up together in the clouds, it's the wrong Christ, the wrong Messiah, period. If you're not caught up in the clouds, it's the wrong Christ. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.